said. The Kemi is running. The Kemi is running. Are we ready? I think so. Born ready. Are we ready? Who's that? Oh, you're going to leave that in there, too. <laughs> this, this is going to make it so are. much easier to, to match up the audio <laughs> of the video. Why, hello! Why, hello, everyone. Hello. Here we are, Who once again. Getting, oh, we're at a round table. We are a round table, and you're sitting at the head of it. Uh, we thought it would be fun... If, <laughs> we thought it would be fun to record once more a pen power. By we, he means he, correct? I, I made them, yes. but it was requested by many members of the general two. audience. Two, two, at least two. We have been forced. Two, right? Four but we are least. quite willing. She speaks. Quite. We willing. are rather willing. Yes. We thought that as Mr. Eric Orozco is visiting us, it would be In rather nice drawer. to uh, record <laughs> some sort of uh, video, video <laughs> on our on our progress, our Turn doings, the on, gets all shy, yes. etc. Can't shut him up otherwise. Yeah. Not used to the camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Seven to come. It seemed like a month. It, se it, well, oh, it seemed like a year. But you have that effect. Yes, I do have that effect. I make everything seem terrible. So <laughs> let's let's start. I thought with Wednesday night. Wednesday night, your flight. I wasn't even here Wednesday night. <laughs> <coughs> your flight was technically. Scheduled. I got here Thursday morning. Yes, because your flight was scheduled to arrive at a certain time. Yeah, 10, 10.30. In the p.m. In the p.m. post I think. So that would be 22.30. Yes. In other, in other areas. In other time zones. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, your plane was well, no, delayed. The first plane that was going to connect me through Detroit was delayed so that I would have missed the plane out of Detroit. So they sent me instead to Minneapolis. 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 Where there were no delays, but the plane arriving here was already going to arrive at 11.30. Yes. At which point you have to get through immigration and customs to get to the rental car counter by midnight. Yes. 30 minutes. Now, I've been here before. Yes. And customs and immigration is usually just you sail right through it. But I got there at 11.30 p.m. and there were 600 people ahead of me in line. They knew you were trying they, to they get knew. there quickly. Because so. I was in a hurry, so nothing yeah. worked. Yes, of course. But uh, it all worked out in the end. It did. We were, we were standing by to drive out so they and say. collect you. So they say. Um, I was asleep. But, um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But everything worked. You got a car. You well, I, I made the reservation with Enterprise, and I knew they were closing at midnight, uh, and I didn't make it. But there was a sign on their counter that says, our friends over at National will help you. So I went to National and I said, are you Enterprise? And he says, if you want a car, I'm Enterprise. Nice that they're friends. <laughs> so I made the reservation at Enterprise, picked up a car at National, but the receipt says Alamo. So I don't know. Drove but I did have a car. Shore. We've been going around all week. So. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Well, maybe I don't have to give it back. Well, who knows? Maybe you Just can keep drive it. drive back to the yeah. States drive and keep it to the you plane. Can buy. Play it your, to Canada. Uh, special vehicle and you can drive it straight. And then we're only through Wednesday now. Yeah, this was only yes. Wednesday night, so actually it was, it was late. It was one that you arrived here one or something, two. or one or two, or three. Yeah. We'll say one thirty. Yeah, Five, was... maybe. In any case, it was uh, within living memory you arrived. I and, did arrive. um, yeah. And it was rather unexpected. So that was Wednesday. <laughs> then there was Thursday. The Thursday which was the a, next day. The, which was well, actually, actually the same, the same day. day. Actually the same, same day, day when you think about yes. it and reason it through properly. Uh, so it was Thursday, and Thursday we had a... Rather exciting day. Why don't you remind us? Well, what happened, this is why I have this list, you see, because we're all getting older, we barely remember what we had for dinner yesterday, so... I that think we delay one. We yes. Go, yes, we I did. So. Yes. Our first stop was Wonder Pens. That's right, yes. we went to In Wonder Toronto. Toronto. Yes. Where Lovely. I got buttons that I don't yes. have with me. And I got bitten. <laughs> you got cat and I got buttons. <laughs> and yes. I got nothing. But I did take about 150 pictures of the cat. Lovely yes, shot. I, I, I think that's true. Yeah. This is about 100. This yeah. is about 150. And the uh, interesting, interesting uh, factoid, the shop is moving to two locations. Yes, it's it's actually be, splitting. Yeah. It's splitting. They're opening yes. an east location and a west location. And apparently the west is supposed to be like the, the main one and the east one is a studio. Um, but there are details and stuff that I do not know of. Well, anyway, <laughs> so they're, they're moving. So this was probably <laughs> our, Thank you for our, that last, report. Yes. our last visit to this location. Yes. It's definitely Which has been quite legendary. I'm never going back. Yes. 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 You this will never true. see that never. location again. Never. From there, we made our way to Goldstruck. Mm -hmm. 
place of coffee renown. We Not had that I drink. A lovely coffee. time. It was wonderful. It was amazing. They have some of the best chocolate chip cookies on the planet. Not to mention the coffee. The, yes. The coffee, I, I don't know about, I do know about the tea. The tea was great. The coffee it was is wonderful. Really good. The coffee's better. Yes, absolutely. It's a tiny place, but it's a lot of fun, so you should you should definitely look that up when you're in It Toronto. is rather small. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for sure. in April, you always get the table. I don't know why that works out there. Yeah, but summer, you can pretty much guarantee you will not get a table. Yes. yes. You have yes. to throw people out. Yeah. But still, a lot Hover. of fun. Goldstruck. Yeah. Now, the fun thing is, right around the corner from Goldstruck. Literally. Literally. Right around the corner. Right around the corner. In the most literal sense of the word, is Lay Wines. What's Lay Wines, Dr. Brown? Lay Wines, rather a nice fountain pen store. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, a bit exclusive, I would say, isn't it? It's, it's open to the public. Mean, it is open to the public, but I mean, it is <laughs> a very nice... They let us in. I mean, not exclusive, in, in, a, in, a, in a bad way, like but I mean, it's a nice, this a nice fancy store with very friendly staff. But it's yeah. very welcoming and very inviting. Absolutely. So don't feel Absolutely. afraid. No, no, not at all. But a very, very pleasant store. Uh, and um, well, Lovely was, staff. They know what they're doing, they know what they're talking yes. about. Very nice. And, uh, have you seen my new pen? I have, I have seen your new pen, but maybe you should explain what it is to the, the viewer. This is a Mont Blanc Blue Hour in the Le Grand or 146 size. Oh, oh he's going to hold this up because for a closer inspection. Well, I have a question. I can't How do see you it. carry this pen? Well, that's what I was getting to. Because oh. see it? A oh, pen oh, like oh, that oh, really oh. requires a nice a uh, pen case or sleeve. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so you have seen my new pen. I have Don't seen you it. you want to know a little something about the well, pen? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Tell us. This pen I got from... <laughs> it's almost <laughs> as if we rehearsed this. <laughs> We're just so seasoned. I bought it from uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Dolive. Uh, at a, he goes to the, He's the pen show circuit man mm -hmm. with the southern accent, if you don't yes. know who he is. Uh, it was on his table in uh, Philadelphia and was flirting with me for the entire show. Scared rid of it. it well, <laughs> I managed to resist. Four of those. And then it was on his table in Los Angeles where it flirted from me, well, with me from across the room. But I managed to resist. And then I ran across it again in Baltimore where it flirted with me and succeeded. And I went away with it. And I love this pen. It is it's rather it's a nice pen. It's very a, nice. It's a finish. lovely, lovely pen. I also really like the size. The size and the, the weight. Well, again, it's the, the 146. Mm -hmm. It's a little heavier because mm -hmm. it's yeah. metal. Yeah. And I suppose that's preci precious resin. I, I don't know. <laughs> precious I don't guilloche. Guilloche. It's I don't precious, know. precious to me. I thought they were guillo like a guilloche yeah. and then lacquer coating. I think so. But I could be that. wrong. Well, can we call it a rushi? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Probably no. not. No. I could. We could. I mean, could. we could. Yeah. We'd be wrong, but we could. We could. I mean, you could, you could put on nail polish, call it nail polish. I mean, it's... Uh, we wouldn't do that. In that regard, we the but... inconsistency could be true. It could be true. It so, be true. Uh, it it was probably a fine nip, mm -hmm. but it so wrote like a medium because it's a Mont Blanc, and I sent it to Mark Bacchus, uh, who sent it back to me as a fine cursive italic. And, and it is rather nice. I have written I'm, with it. You don't even like fine nibs and you like this one, Yeah. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah. But the reason I bring up my new pen... Yes, because we were at Lay Wines. We were at Lay Wines. On Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And we started to look at... After looking at everything else, we looked at the pen cases, which happened to be all leather, as far as yes, I remember. Yes, a lot of leather. And we found my new pen case, or sleeve, as you call it. Yes. It's a very nice German-made... I had never seen one before. I had never seen one. What's the gentleman's name? Nick, Troy is it? Name. Nick. Nick. Yes. Nick, who takes good Nicholas. care of us at Lay Wines, Nicholas, uh, has a... What is that pen he has? Uh, it's a, a Namiki. A Namiki it's, it's one of the... Um, the pretty Nantier ones? ones? Yes, it's yeah. a pretty one. And he, he uses a green one of these. Yes. So it came highly recommended. And I just... A little pricey, if you ask me, mm -hmm. but worth it. We who who also makes the case? Toyleben. Toyleben. It's the people of Leuchtturm 1919. What? 19, mate. Uh, 1917. 1917. It's the same people? I thought it was. I don't think so. I think Nick said that, so... I think... I don't believe that. Well, <laughs> lies That will have to be investigated. Yes. It's a very Rather nice case. Lovely colour. I really like yes, it. Yes, I had picked out a blue one and then he said, oh, you know, we also have this one. And then it was love at first yes, sight, at right? first sight. Yeah. Yeah, so it was lovely. That was, I bought this and some paper. Mm -hmm. A little, mm -hmm. is it made by 365? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which is, as we have discovered, more of a pencil paper. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, or really fine, fine. Very, very fine, yeah. fine, fine pen. pen. But it's a very nice little notebook anyway. 
I guess I, uh, I like it. And I like pencils. Yes, so it works out well. But you bought something. What are some of the things you bought? Well, I actually did buy things, but I don't have any of them. That's okay. You, you can describe them. Two I papers. Bought, Most I people are not watching papers. this anyway. Three I papers. bought a large A4 super thick notebook. That is thick. Because I want to yeah. do mm-hmm. art, inky art splatter on it. Oh, that's right. And I also got two of the 365 notebooks. And I also purchased what, a what? You Sonic... bought two? Yeah, the, the, the... Oh, the larger one. Yeah. Yes. Um, and a Sonnen later... Later? Sonnen later. Sonnen later. Sorry. Uh, pen case that will hold one pen and like two pencils and, and an cute. eraser and like a little ruler. Yes, it, it really holds a pen and like three pencils, but yeah. you have like four pens in it now or something. Yeah, I just like stuff. Yeah. You know, I just... It's also very, very nice. It's very it nice. It's a pity you don't have it. Yet. It is a pity. Yeah, it's a shame. But imagine the most you know beautiful what? case you've ever seen. And it's on, on my YouTube yeah. channel. Well, that's a case. Yeah. This is a sleeve. So come to sleeve. my YouTube channel. And oh, see yes. It. You have a YouTube channel? Yes, I am Gourmet Pens. All right. I don't have a bajillion subscribers. <laughs> Contractual agreement has now been yes. satisfied. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what else? What did you get? Um, Adelaide ones? I think that's all that's I got. Oh, and you got? You got not fans. a sausage. You, you had nothing. a nice conversation with fans. Absolutely yes. nothing. People came but into the store and said, oh. They said, hello, are you SBA Bar? I said, no, just look like him. Um, no, but that's always fun. It's always fun to interact with people who, who watch your videos. Um, Fine. And he I enjoys it. Let me tell you, he enjoys yes, it. Because it's fun. we are in the store looking around and the people say hello. And then we go around looking around some more. And all of a sudden they leave. And he runs out the door after them to say goodbye for what, 10 minutes? Yes. Which is great. He's yeah, very polite. Because, I mean, it was very, very nice. polite. Nice he likes meeting, meeting the public. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so fun. fun to bump into someone at it's a fun. pen store. It is. It is indeed. Oddly enough, was it, it wasn't the same day, though. It wasn't Evan was his name. Yes, yes. we'll, come, right. back we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll so circle, circle around. The the final uh, the final thing on Thursday that we did was we went to Whole Foods in Markham. Is, Markham, Markham uh, Whole Foods, very nice supermarket, very nice store. We got some nice food. We also <laughs> ate something there. They also got like a kilogram of chocolate covered almonds. Most Actually, of which half kilo. Do most of which are gone sure. now, um, unfortunately, but yeah. that's just the way it is. Um, that was lovely. We it had was? a pizza. The pizza there was quite good. Quite good. You had something else. I had like a lemon pepper chicken salad. Oh yes, thing. that was, was that was quite yeah. nice too. Yeah. So we had fun there. Not a weird diet, so I don't get to have pizza. Then uh, it's only keto diet. It's not yes. weird. Yes. It's mainstream. Is it? Yes. Well, but it is sad. It's well, true. when you're out eating pizza. And, yes. Now, <laughs> one thing I would like to point out is we drove back from Whole Foods. It was rather quiet in the evening on Highway 7, mm-hmm. which oh, was a, yes, a lovely, 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 fairly quiet route, very nice with, with little trees and hilly areas. And it was beautiful. It was very nice. So was if very you're in the, in the neighborhood, you should also take Highway 7 and yeah. experience the glory. Because it was, it was really because fun. You the sun was setting. Trace and the path that we once drove. <laughs> Yes, okay, <laughs> moving on. Uh, Plus, it seemed a lot faster. Yes, even though it was only eight very surprised yeah. we had arrived already. I know. And well, I was driving. Can't be right. Yeah. You, you, you wanted to go back and check if it was somewhere else. It's impossible. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So that was fr- Thursday. Then we, uh, we all went to bed completely knackered. Um, and I think it was Friday that we resumed our exploration. You have the notes. What do you mean you yeah. think? No, after no, learning I, letters. After ah, letters, yes, after which learning letters, which Aziza did live on the Instagram. Um, we went to Yorkdale. The Instagram. The, the Instagram, Instagram. Yorkdale Mall. Yes. Which is rather a nice mall. Uh, I think it's our favorite mall. I think, I think it so. may be our favorite. Although yeah. I think we have to check Square One we have one to go more back time to, to be square sure. One, just yes. to be sure. But Yorkdale. Very is... nice mall. All kinds of shops. And one of the uh, particular things we did there was go to a kitchen store of all places because you needed kitchen equipment. Yes. And I think actually we point, went because you needed a I couple needed, of knives. I wanted some a good paring knife. So and while found, there, I found myself a knife as well. You found yourself a knife yes. to uh, put as an accoutrement in your kitchen. Yes, yes. Uh, rather nice sale of knives. So we had fun at William Sonoma. Uh, there used to be a nice person there selling chocolate chip cookies, freshly baked. Craig's cookies, gone. but I think he's opening his own location. Those they are the best hard. cookies I those, ever. Those were had. We, we, we had no cookies. Like we commercial cookies. cookies. We also had coffee there at Illy's. Illy's, Illy's. Place on a weird oh my little God, that was plateau. Delicious. It was fascinating, it was like but it was very almost. nice. 
Now, the fascinating thing is that the, the entire Yorkdale Mall is a single floor, but then there is a little bit upwards, which is where Illy's is, and then there was a staircase upwards, and we all thought, what would be upstairs there? So I went to explore. And it was gone for half an hour. Turns out it was the food court, and I've been to Yorkdale a couple of times, and every time I thought, I wonder where the food court is. It's up there. So it's actually on the second, you would say third floor, I think. Third floor. Yes, third floor. So should you ever find yourself in Yorkdale, now you know. Um, I think we then... Uh, if you weren't as dumb as we are, you could yes. find the food. I don't think we were hungry. Maybe we were not hungry. We've never been hungry at Yorkdale. No, so yes. no, that was the problem. So we've never started. But okay. having found the food court, which they don't call food court, what did they call it? The, the culinary plaza. Something, something, yeah. something more upscale. Much more upscale. Yeah. Yeah. We did discover that there's a Chipotle. Yes, oh, which is something that turned her system. into a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> did you spit that out? Almost. <laughs> no, or was it not fun. a requirement to go there? Yeah, Just absolutely. Yes. No, it was. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I was like, I don't even care if you two are hungry. I am going yeah. to eat there. Yeah, and I did. And you yes. did. And it was... It was so good. I was so. It happy. was like one of those icebreaker ships that you know she just she just barged <laughs> yes. through all the, the children pushed them aside. It was horrid, but you know <laughs> probably never be admitted uh, there again. But in any case, yeah. that was that was a lot of fun. So that was actually pretty yeah. nice food. Yeah. But we, let's not forget that was the Mont Blanc day, was it not? Oh, we went yes. to the Mont yes. Blanc. There was a, there is a small Mont Blanc uh, it's actually boutique, big, boutique that's actually fairly large. So for a large shop, it's pretty small. But, but wait, for a small shop, it's fairly more. large. We didn't even think. I didn't know if we were going in, unless we were going to ask for the ink. Yes. But yes. they have a display window we that we stopped We were just wandering at. around We were wandering side. and happened to be in front of the display window where they had the little prince newly arrived yes. for this year, yes. a special edition, whatever they're going to call it. When the sales lady came out of the store to talk to us about these new pens. It was Very amazing. friendly. Yes. She yes. came running up. Oh, they're just new. Come inside. They Here's just the arrived today. She was very... Take one home. I have never had such a welcoming experience Absolutely. at a boutique, a Mont Blanc boutique, yeah. like that before. Yeah. No, right. I mean, they're not awesome. necessarily rude people. No. But no. they don't come out of the store and, 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 and start no. talking to you about yeah. what you're looking at in the window. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. She saw that we were interested and... She brought the pen out for us to look at and touch and hold, and it was it was very nice. Yes, it was a very nice. I experience. had a very lovely experience. I was yep, very sure. tempted by the very cute little pen. It is tempting, isn't it? It is, it is tempting. Cute, but I didn't get the price, but it's tempting. The price makes it a little less tempting. That's so cute. But it's well, very was, cute. That was great fun. It was very nice to see such a, a warm welcome and such a, a person so really interested in, in pen. Well, I felt really like she might have been interested. a pen person and I not just an employee. Because right. ordinarily you go to a Mont Blanc boutique and they want to sell you a leather or a watch or right. something. Yes. But she was. She seemed like a pen person. Yeah, and she yeah. knew she was talking she, she about. She was very excited the... that these had just arrived. Yeah. I was very actually excited exciting. because yeah. I had seen them in the catalogue right. and didn't know they were so close to being out in the public view. Yes, yes. Then we made our way back through, what's that show called? Crate, Crate and Barrel. We, we oh, required Crate some barrel. further... We were looking for an <coughs> egg slicer as well. An egg, an egg, de-egger or something. And, and, and uh, uh, one of the, the sales persons asked me if he could help me. I said, no, I'm fine. He said, wait a minute, aren't you a YouTuber? Uh, maybe. So that was in, in the span of two days, I, I was recognized again. Now, in a pen shop, you kind of expect that. In Crate and Barrel, maybe not so much, but it was always fun. So it was great fun to meet Evan, talk nice. to Evan. It's always yes, hello, nice. Evan. Very nice. Hello, Evan, if you see this. Hi. Hello. Hi. Well, that's right. he, he, he watches your channel, so. At least occasionally. I mean, if you it? need anything, go to Crate and Barrel and say <laughs> hi to Evan. Hello, He'll Evan. You. Yes, in Yorkdale Mall. So this was Friday. We then uh, made our way home. Um, we uh, we ate at, at the uh, at Yorkdale, so there was no spectacular yes, Chipotle. Chipotle. Right. Chipotle. <laughs> and then, oh then, Saturday oh, broke Saturday out. Broke. My Saturday. And it wasn't just any Saturday that broke out. It was in fact the birthday of Mr. Eric Orozco. And oh, that would be me. Yes. Very happy birthday once again. You are now twenty one. and yes, happy finally. To go. Yes, finally. Um, it's, uh, so there were a couple of items that, that we should discuss for that day. The first was that there was a Dutch pancake breakfast. Yes, which was, by that I mean the size of this table. Mm -hmm. yeah, One pancake. Dutch pancakes are no joke. So that was fun. With maple butter With maple and, butter. and maple syrup, maple syrup, maple syrup from, from Ottawa. Canada-fied Dutch pancakes. Canada uh, we sort of... That's sort of like you. Yeah, isn't it? He's a pancake? 
in a way. <laughs> about the same intelligence. Um, so then we uh, we then uh, um, about as There was a gift or two, as I recall. We there were many oh. gifts. Oh, I many. think I think I think we can summarize the majority of gifts as there was a lot of chocolate involved. There was a lot of chocolate. But Good chocolate. Every item individually wrapped. Yes. Every single item. So we spent about two hours just unwrapping with, uh, with gifts. With no, copious amounts of packing tape. Yes, which was impossible oh to remove. So it, it yes. added to the hilarity. Everyone had a wonderful time. He was very patient with um, it. He was. But I think a couple items should be mentioned in particular. One was, uh, unfortunately, we cannot show you all this due to time restraints and also it legal it's reasons. Um, it's um, For legal but, reasons? Uh, but, but <laughs> one of the wonderful items that I particularly enjoyed was a very, very... Hot pink hard hat. Oh yes, because it's, it's something that you. We will expect you a need. picture on your Instagram. On your Instagram, there should be a picture at some point. I think I'm going to turn it into a candy bowl. Yeah, I think you should. All the chocolates. That's you delicious. May as well. um, there was also a lovely little wall ornament of a moose who we we have dubbed the moose uh, Hudson. B. Hudson moose. B. Moose, but it's not an ornament. It's a portrait. It is yes. a portrait. It's very dashing, Hudson, very festive. The moose. Yes, it yes. Is Hudson nice. B. for Hudson's Bay. It is rather nice. There was a moose keychain, I recall, there, which is, doubles as a bottle opener. It is in fact a moose keychain. Mm -hmm. When you can't deal with it um, anymore. Which is also rather nice. Oh. Um, and I think one thing in particular you may be able to show off here is a wait. Um, you have to talk about the professor's gift. Oh, the professor oh, uh, made my. a... Now, this one really does have to be shown off on Instagram. At some yes. point, yes. At some point it should, keep an it should eye. always appear keep an somewhere. Eye on Instagram. On, is... uh, the size is about <clears throat> this. It oh, is a uh, beautiful portrait of Eric Roscoe, hand-drawn with a sharpie by Professor Dr. Tarquin Danglebury on styrofoam. On styrofoam. Yes. Very on styrofoam. Important. Not any, any because he not would not any go canvas. for linen. He would not no. go for canvas. He would not go for olive he wood. Who? Doctor, professor, professor. Of yes, he would of course only use the most robust of materials, which is styrofoam. So there was quite a, a nice likeness too, I must say. Yes. Likeness. Yes. It was like looking in the mirror. Just yes. to be or to be fair. <laughs> if it was your mirror. To be fair. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. And, oh, and so, I didn't continue to the the pen then, wrap, as it were. There was the 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 great denouement, the the fantastic revelation of a very very special gift. That which was this. made, and it was that. It's been sitting here the whole time. Now, it starts it. off as some sort of uh, plaid thing on the outside, which in itself is rather Canadian and some sort of lumberjackish. I, I would say lumberjackish. Lumberjackish. That's exactly what uh, I would it's, say. It's, it's rather nice. Are you going to go show it? <laughs> yes, well, but the most special thing is, of course, that this pen wrap has an inside which is highly Canadian. Yes, we have, what do we have here? We have uh, jugs of maple syrup. Yes. And... Murray the Moose in several different outfits. Yes. And you may show this off. I shall now audience. show this off. It's an eight pen slot made by... This pen wrap was made by Yen Yen of Yenderings. Yenderings. And I think she can be found at She's Yenderings? on Instagram, at, Instagram at, as yes. Yenderings. Yenderings, yes. And um, you can also find her website as yenderings.com. Oh, I, thank you, sir. I contacted her to have this made and... I think she did a great job. She, she was fabulous job. to work with. It holds one size pen, so if you have a <coughs> slightly larger pen, you it's want also to, padded a little bit, but not really thick, She's so that it's bulky. Slightly quilty. Yes, yeah. quilty. Slightly yes. quilty. She did a very nice job. Very nice job. And so that's I think lovely. it came out exactly how we were picturing it. Absolutely. And it's wonderful because one running gag that we have had amongst the three of us, and every time Eric is here, we are looking for the ultimate moose. So mm -hmm. now he has his wall painting of moose, but of course this is something and you can use every day. That's true. And I think that we've already named the moose. Yes. yes. He's yes. a he's a maple syrup monger. Yes. yes. That's what yes. he does. He's also going to have his own Instagram. He's going to have to. Yeah, his own Instagram account. With he's a very dashing moose. He's dashing. Look rather up. dashing. Rather dashing. Rather dashing. So there was that. Then we went to the, I think that concludes your gift giving uh, Yes, and then scenario. we, we um, evacuated the house mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and went in which direction? I think we went to the Oshawa Centre, which is a local mall. Yes, rather we did. Nice. Yes. We, it is uh, rather we, nice. We it's a rather nice local there. mall. It is not Yorkdale. It is no. not Yorkdale. But, but you don't have to drive an hour either. ten minutes away. It's yes. not, not the worst. It is not bad. Um, I think that, that was all we did... But we just walked around Oshawa Centre. You were still looking. For but that's when we got our, our sweaters. Our we matching. got our, if you have, our if matching. If you've seen his Instagram, yes, please. then you know we have matching Eddie Bauer sweaters. I like Eddie Bauer. They are red. And, um, they are red for Canada. Rather dashing color. Rather dashing. Yes. Um, so we have we have done that. That was fun. Then we went home. No, I got something else. No, we went to Aroma. 
We had another coffee. Yes, yes we, we had. That's the thing we do is have coffee. Yes, yes, we do have coffee. And tea. And tea. And, tea. Yeah. and a croissant or a cookie. And we chit chat. We chit chat. What kind of like coffee? this, but yes, but more intimate. But, but, but <laughs> yeah, so we, we we kind of wanted to record all of this, but of course in public it's a bit difficult with sound. Um, what else also did you get? shame and embarrassment. But wasn't that else? David's tea? Oh yes, oh, David's tea. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, a lovely teapot with Blue a little, but it fits on the cup and was rather nice. Yeah. No, it doesn't fit on the cup. I got the pot with the cup because they didn't yes. have this one. Remember, That's rather this was cool. indigo, and they were out. Oh, yes. So indigo we went to David's out. tea, and they had an assortment. They had an assortment, and I finally chose uh, the pot with the cup. Understandable. Yes. So that that was nice. That was fun. Yes, that was mm. nice. Then we went home. We had our birthday dinner. Birthday dinner, oh, which was the God. previously mentioned meat from Happy Cows that we purchased at Whole yes, Foods. Yes, very Happy Cows, because if you have to have meat, you can at least have meat that is from properly raised animals who have a nice life. We apologize to vegans. Of course. Animals. Yes, we're not vegans. Yes, we're not. I'm allergic to beans. <laughs> Moving on. So, <laughs> um, so, I feel like... <laughs> is there a term for that? Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic. You just, like, not, not evolved. Favophobia. Um, so the um, our, our rather nice birthday dinner with a ribeye steak, rather. a cream mushroom sauce, some sort of potato delight, and uh, asparagus. asparagus, green asparagus. Was that, that very was a special nice. potato though. It was very the very little nice. disc, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. The little bits, the slices were... with the onions and the. Oh, oh yes, yeah, the brat the onions. Onions. Yes, that was rather nice. That was rather nice. So that was, I would say, rather successful birthday. Extremely Even successful. It was not my own. Followed by I'm chocolate ready. cake with Cadbury oh, yes, chocolate ganache icing. An amazing cake, I, I will say. That came out very nicely. So that was definitely very good. There's still some if you'd like to. Yes, yes there is. You, you want, if you want some, send us a letter. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll mail you a slice. Um, <clears throat> now then, uh, Saturday was over, so it became Sunday. Sunday. Oh. It and, happens uh, here in Canada too. It right? happens mm. every time, every time. Sunday we uh, we took it rather easily. Um, I we, think we took off. Yes, we took, yes off. we took off. Ziza did all her stuff here. She was uh, spa day, didn't she? Girl, girl, spa girl spa time. Lady all kinds of things were done. Uh, hey, school bus. Fascinating. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we, um, we, we went off, the two of us. We went to Whitby, uh, close to Oshawa. We first went to uh, Second Cup, Second rather a nice coffee place, mm -hmm. I will say. You see how, again, our life centers around coffee. Uh, we had a, a, a rather long conversation there about all sorts it of stuff. It was a rather long about, about time of different conversations. Yes, several We covered lots and lots of topics. Uh, I was spared from this nonsense. <laughs> well, some of, a lot of it actually dealt with kitchen knives, because Eric was, uh, as we said, he bought a knife at William Snowman, but then I got the little paring knife set, and he was interested in that, so we decided... We talked about knives and Japanese knives and steel knives and all kinds of knives. Uh, and then we moved on to Farm Boy, which is a nice supermarket. A lot of organic stuff. Yes, I would call it a, a large Trader Joe's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like that. Organic foods and nice food and, and happy food and, and stuff. Um, we uh, we negotiated the vending of some cod, yes, I believe. Yes, some wild uh, cod cod wild to cod replace... Cod. The wild caught cod that went bad. Yes, that we had bought at Whole Foods but had not cooked in time. It had rather an interesting smell, but we decided we to not take the risk. It, it was yes. very sad because nobody likes to waste food, but it was the way it was. So we had to uh, purchase some new cod. cod. We moved to Farm Boy for this. We got some cod. That night the cod was not made that was monday i believe that's right we, we had, had to make cod. it the next day what did we have on sunday that was the cod was it the was tacos it? we had the tacos on sunday indeed indeed so we had some meat that i had cooked in advance some sort of beef and uh together. oh that's right because we had to go from farm boy to exactly to find avocados because yes because not an avocado was to be had at farm boy rather disappointing we finally found them at Sobeys, rather nice uh, supermarket. And this was squishy avocados, perfect for the making of same day guacamole. Wonderful. We then had a uh, an interesting session making guacamole, which was some of the nicest guacamole I have had. It was very good. You well, put I thought in, you said it was the nicest. It was. Some it of, was. And I mean, you yeah, it was the nicest. Story. So you because it was your recipe, you put in tomato, 
Oh yes, but you've got to take yeah. those seeds out, and otherwise it makes it rain. Right. So take the seeds and barely have anything left. So you just have the shell of the tomato. A sad heap of tomato shell, and you put that. It works though. <laughs> and a little works. habanero pepper, which was de-seeded and all that. That yes. was good. Demembering. Uh, there was salt, in which you you used oh, the yes. world's largest you, you, mortar <laughs> to to crush mortar. a tiny I bit of salt. Yeah, it looked like a ball. Um, and and very carefully he was holding this giant giant I don't know well, it's, granite it's, or something. The, the size isn't the problem. It weighs fifty kilos. Yeah, so really you're trying to shake salt out of it. Oh, 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 like this, and it was terrifying. Then you very carefully sprinkled some pepper in yes, the most well, that has fancy. To be done in the right way. Yeah, yes. so, so there was that. So there was the of course the avocados, the tomato, the lime peppers. There was the lime, little lime juice. In yours there was Onion. some cilantro. Then we separated very fine ferrosiza. He doesn't like cilantro. I don't like cilantro, <laughs> and she didn't want any pepper, so we put her so aside. Mix and match. Yeah, everyone was happy. Mm-hmm. Delicious, everyone absolutely happy. delicious. You've been eating yeah. that ever since. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. She's still eating it. Yeah, so that's good. Is there anything? Very good. A little maybe, bit. Maybe you should take bit. some on the plane. Um, <clears throat> so there is that. Um, then that it became was Monday. It became Monday, and Monday we had a. Wait, very... you forgot something. Did what we? Did I forget. I think so. Oh, Sunday. The Sunday. day we had the Chipotle. That was, that was Friday. Friday. We also had the Dimitri's. Oh, God, I never oh. want to eat ice cream again. <laughs> My God, that, that was, was horrible. That was Thursday, wasn't it? That was the, that was the Yorkdale day, it I think. It was the Yorkdale okay, day. Was we, yeah. That was Friday. We, you had we the Chipotle. Had, we had some we had burgers. I remember you had it after burgers. You had Chipotle, and on the way back to... Oshawa, we said, let's stop at the ice cream parlor. Yes. We did, unfortunately. Which is really an ice cream restaurant. <clears throat> yes, it is. Uh, because we like ice cream. Mm-hmm. We, and we like ice cream restaurants even more. Yes. And Until afterwards. <laughs> and it was delicious. It but was. It was it's so Dimitri's, much ice cream. It's Dimitri's, in case anybody I, is in the area. Dimitri's. It's, and that's a chain, isn't it? Again. It is a chain, right. but it's quite good. I'm ready to eat delicious. ice cream again, but I've been full ever since. I but have, they both had know. a two scoop sundae, and it's Never not just like a little scoop, it is It is a beast. They it's are a scoop the size scoops. of this, basically. So it comes in like a big goblet that's square and huge, and you have three toppings, and you want to add them in, and it was gigantic. It was delicious, but it was so In fact, I don't think I finished mine. I don't no, which I don't is think very you finished yours. I really gave up with I sipped my coffee and washed them sadly. It's, there's always room for ice cream, is what I say, but there I was, had to stop. <laughs> I, think, I think we should change that saying to there's always room for some ice cream, but not necessarily yeah. epic quantities. All right. They were pretty nauseated by the time we left. Yeah, it was horrid. But I think Sunday after, when did we watch Kingsman? Uh, that was, I believe, that was Saturday that was and Sunday. Saturday? Saturday? Yeah. Sunday? Okay. Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday. I don't know. We watched, we watched the two watched Kingsman movies. movies. One was good, the other not so much. Uh, and I'll save you the trouble. So then there was uh, Monday. Monday we had rather an interesting excursion again. Did we? we? Uh, Remind yes, me. yes, yes. Well, we first two days ago now. I don't remember. We we first uh, woke up. Uh, we had a a minor brekkie here. Uh, then we drove off. We first went to Nella Cucina. Oh, that's right. This was Monday in Toronto. Now. This is something we discovered while sitting at Second Cup having yes, one of the thousands exactly. of conversations that we had in hour. Because uh, in the Netherlands, where I used to visit you often, <laughs> there were several very nice. large and nice kitchen stores yes. where you could find anything from a kitchen gadget to professional stoves. Yes. And they, we just we like to go to those places because we usually buy something yes. and get ideas and yes. drool over things we're never going to have room for. But Dr. Brown was telling me that he does, there's no place like that in Toronto. And I said, that can't be true. It's it can't be yes, true. Impossible. Toronto is a huge metropolitan city. Where do professionals go when they need stuff? And we found Fake the place. Fake news. Yes, exactly. In a nutshell. Fake news. Uh, and we found the place, which was called Nella something. Rather. Nella Cucina. Nella Cucina. And so, go ahead. We, we went sallied there. forth, infiltrated this place of Bavains, and we uh, found out that it was a rather a nice shop. Two stories... Quite big, Two? quite big. I mean, it was Two really stories, quite big. Two right. stories, quite big. Entrance there, exit over there. Um, <clears throat> well, first we should tell out. everybody that we're kind of odd or probably kind of normal because it's an hour drive to get there. And the entire route, aside from trying to map out the best route based on traffic and setting different destinations, we have a conversation that's 45 minutes long about parking. Yes. Yes. Where should we park? Where is it going to be? Do, do we take, take credit cards? Do we take coins? We spend so many 
minutes worrying about parking, yes. and we finally decided we were going to go to the one spot you had yes. found that is a, a lip in car. Yes, and how to get there, and then we get on the street that we have to drive 10 kilometers on, and it's stop and go traffic, but I'm going to have to make a left, and I'm not like, I don't like making lefts on those busy streets, and I'm thinking, I don't want to make a left, I'm going to make three rights. <laughs> Totally blew it all out of proportion because right smack dab in front on the street of the Nella Pacina like right is a parking the door. spot. So, right there. Right there. So don't have to worry about that next time. the story is, never panic because it's not worth it. I don't so, want to say we were panicked, but we did. We were concerned. We, we spent a lot of time and energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were preparing. Yes. And then, when it turns out we didn't need to. Then Eric gave me, I think, three dollars and, and two quarters. Three dollars and seventy-five cents or something. Something along those lines. We arrived said, at eleven oh five. Yes. And so here oh, get sorry, a ticket. So I walked to the ticket machine, I put in a dollar and uh, I don't know, a quarter or something, and I thought, okay, half an hour, that should do it. So I Half an hour. Back. We're going to the Disneyland of kitchen equipment in Toronto, and he thinks we'll do this in half an hour. So I give it the ticket, I say, how long do we have? We, I say, we have 30 minutes. I say, oh my God, <laughs> Both of that us. will never work. <laughs> we just looked at each other. We know immediately. There's we should not have sent him to yes. pay for parking. Yes. Complete chaos. Everyone wanted to club me to death. And uh, and they so we went in anyway. Eric set a timer. What's new, in it? Yeah, and I think nothing new under the sun. We had not made it past three, three gondolas yes. and yes. gadgets, and it was time for more. Yeah. Yes. So I, I went out, refilled the parking meter, and everything was arranged. Um, we walked out of this shop. I walk out with a tiny bit of the cooking um, 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 accoutrement. Uh, yeah, what do you call tweezers. it? Pinsers, tweezers. Tweezers. Uh, Ten inches. Which is kind of nice, kind of nice. Um, but intimidating for Wendy. Much more interesting purchase was done by you. Oh my. By me? Yes. yes. Oh yes, I got a French press. A French a press. French Tell press. Us about press. It. Which is a little What's, printing press lovely. that only does French <laughs> books. <laughs> I'm looking for a TV station. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's a it's, little coffee uh, making. Uh, I don't know. Is it ceramic or is it actually cast iron and ceramic on top? I'm guessing it's probably ceramic. Just ceramic. Yeah. I think so. What's the name brand? Le Creuset. Le Creuset, which is the, the crucible. crucible. The Crucible. Um, and I think it's lovely. It's a it lovely. Is lovely. Teal blue? Caribbean yeah, blue. Like Caribbean blue, blue, blue is what they call it, and it's just lovely. Not That's glass, you can't see through it. Uh, I would have found that odd, but Aziza has a stainless steel French press that I've been using all week, and I'm fine. I really don't need to see the grounds as you push them down. It happens, whether it you works. see it or not. It's yeah. not like it a cat thing, that it's there, it's not there. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> yes? It's an exquisite ombre. It's really beautiful. Yes, it's quite beautiful. It is Exquisite color. I just, it's fabulous. So we had, it was a fun shop. We checked out kitchen knives there. Did not purchase anything there. Then we went. They didn't have what we wanted. Foolishly, to the Eaton Center. Well, we were looking forward to the Eaton Center. We because were. Because in December we it's went there. It's a fancy mall. We were there as at a, Christmas As a time. Christmas event, shopping event. There was Christmas music. And it was wonderful. It was Decorations. Festive. A million people. Plus, there's a Chipotle around the corner. There is a Chipotle around the corner. Which we had to go to. <laughs> yes, we went there. We went to the Eden Center. We went to Williams Sonoma. There, we could not find what we were looking for there. Uh, you went to Sephora. There was other stuff. Uh, all kinds of stereotypes being confirmed here. Uh, we, we could <laughs> not find what we yeah. what we wanted. So. We were rather disappointed because we had such a, a lovely time there at Christmas, and it was just not the same. We did take a magnificent picture. As either took a magnificent picture of the two of us. See oh, the birds attacking birds us. In the Check back. Pointing into the distance, rather well, those birds. Gazing. They were coming to attack. It was, yeah, it was magnificent, um, and and then we decided, you know what? We don't like it here. We don't like it. We're going to go back to Yorkdale and but show first, the Eaton Center what a real. We have to go to Chipotle. <laughs> we have to go to Chipotle. We went <laughs> to Chipotle. We had a lunch. Yeah. It was rather nice. I now delicious. understand your obsession. Yes. Uh, it was great filling. burrito. It was oh, it was so filling. I'm so glad we didn't go to ice cream afterwards because it would have been surprised. We didn't. Would have been horrid. That's our tradition. Um, so there was that. We went back to your day. We went back to William Sonoma. You found the knives you were looking for. So you I did find the knives. You leave this country with three purchased knives, and I think two I gave you. So you you are five. very well. Totally. You have yes. five knives. That could be the title of a good restaurant. Five knives. Five knives. Next order, twelve tables. Yes, and oh. five guys, and they have everything that's, together. That's right. Um, oh, yeah. So how lovely. So we did how all lovely. that. We had a good time in Yorkdale once again, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, and, uh, I did not buy a single thing. I, no, I, I find that hard to believe. I, I didn't. It was uh, amazing. I believe it's true, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we'll go well, back. We next did time. go to Italy. 
Uh, we That's did, true. We, we had to have our coffee. Italy. Yes, we did we go had to that Italy. coffee that was very nice. We did not go to the food court there because we were stuffed from aforementioned Chipotle. Um, then, it was Tuesday. It was, yesterday. Yesterday, indeed. Uh, there was a uh, another trip by Eric and myself to first second oh, cup. Second cup for coffee. Well, we sat for quite a while, I think, um, and um, uh, then we went to Farm Boy again, the supermarket, and we picked up a very nice happy chicken because I had never roasted a chicken in my life, and Eric said that is an absolute disgrace. I'm disgusted. <laughs> You're going to roast a chicken whether you I want to or you not. I remember you saying that. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I think it's on tape. Yeah, it is probably. So we, uh, we, we, we. Uh, I, I slipped my hand into the chicken when we got home, not in the shop. Uh, we stuffed so it. You, you. Skipped completely over the great fennel shortage of Oh Oshawa. my goodness, yes, there was fennel. We were looking, I mean, a simple vegetable. Fennel, it's not difficult. It's a nice little simple vegetable. Farm boy was out. I said, don't worry, Eric, we will go to Sobeys. Sobeys always has fennel. I've never not seen fennel at Farm Boy. No, it's Sobeys, I mean, sorry. We drove all the way back to Sobeys. Not a fennel in sight. No, and no scallions. Either. And no scallions. So we went to the little gentleman yes. there, a little produce person, and we said, produce person, do you have, in fact, fennel? He said, of course, let me check in the back. He comes back, well, I don't know, five minutes later, I'm sorry, we're all out of fennel. Who is out of fennel? It's not difficult. It's not an exotic out thing. Of fennel. It was disgusting. In any case, so uh, then we said, how about some... Uh, some uh, was it scallions? No, no, it wasn't scallions. No, what was the was other that thing? other onion thing? The other thing. Um, <laughs> The um, like shallots. Shallots, yes. So we said, how about shallots? He said, oh, we have shallots. Here, I'll show you. Oh, no. Oops, we're out of shallots too. Horrid experience. Absolutely horrid. But I think we purchased nothing. It's snowing. Uh, we purchased... Uh, of course it's snowing. Good it's snowing. Canada. Uh, so we, we ended up purchasing uh, pearl, yeah. pearl onions. Or pearl onions. Pearl onions, yes. which looked a lot like shallots to me. But uh, anyway. But they're not, they're not as long. They're not as long. They're a bit shorter. So we took those home. Uh, we... We stuffed the chicken with lemon, lemon, thyme, garlic, thyme, garlic, rosemary, salt, and pepper. Salt and pepper. And her butter. No, oh, that's, we that's slipped that. the butter yeah. under the skin. We and roasted the, the chicken. And mm. we we took it out of the oven after an hour. We we uh, basted it. Basted it. We took off the well, first took off the, the tin foil. We put it back in the oven for half an hour, we took it out, we let it rest, we started to cut it, everyone was starving at this point, especially pining for fennel, um, and uh, unfortunately the chicken was raw. Not so, raw. No, rawish. <laughs> it was not entirely cooked. Hour and a half. We no, had to put raw. it back in the oven, we had to wait for another half hour, um, but it matters not, you are among friends, you have a lovely discussion. Uh, and uh, the fun thing was that then it was fine and it was delicious. It was really good. It was a I really nice chicken. And, and now you've actually roasted chicken twice. Yes, I have. In, in fact, one, in one, one, one sitting, yes. I have yes. double roasted chicken, a new menu item on many restaurant kitchens, I'm sure. Um, and I think Definitely that was, uh, I think that was, that, that kind of concludes our business. Then this morning there was French toast. There was. A single slice. A single slice with of French toast and with blueberries. Canadian maple syrup. Canadian maple probably syrup. Probably from Ottawa. Mm -hmm. Probably, yes. probably. Yeah. And uh, now you are waiting, your suitcases are packed, and once again you should leave us. Yes. And navigate Today's your way. the day. Today's, Today's the, the day. day. Today's the day. This and is now, our final doings. Yes. So instead of spending this time together having fun, we our recorded coffee. this video. Oh, <laughs> and, <laughs> but of course, we always enjoy this. Um, we hope that this was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You have a pen there. I do have a pen there. It is my Oldwin, Oldwin Arco. Yes, review is coming up at some point. Um, and, He's going to uh, do a review. Yes, it is rather a lovely pen. The Arco celluloid always great fun. Blocking out nice your face. Pen. It is a nice. <laughs> Comfortable pen. in the hand. Writes very lovely. Mm -hmm. Writes nicely. Yeah, writes very nicely. And there you have it. Was there anything that anyone wanted to add to this? I have shown off my Canadian pen Canadian wrap. Pen wrap. Yes, I have really. two pelicans. Oh, you should do. Oh, you can't see them. Mm. It's yes. the M six hundred turquoise, which is blue, not turquoise. Well, it's kind of turquoise, but it's blue turquoise, not green turquoise, or teal. And this is the M one twenty iconic blue. 
Uh, well, what's really interesting is what Eric brought for you. See, every time Eric comes to visit, every, he, time. It, every time, he already knows that he will be muling items for me. Every time. And sometimes, some mulings are worse than others. For example, in the Netherlands, he brought me boxes of Cheerios. Two at one time? Cheerios. Yes. Yeah. Taking up yeah. space in his suitcase so he could not bring his own items. So he has one pair of clothes. And uh, all to bring me Cheerios, but this time, I was fairly reasonable, right? Well, you were fairly Goodness, reasonable. It's the phone. Okay. Go away. Yeah, you're going to have to hold these up. Okay. So one thing he mewled for me was I had purchased... Wait, wait, there's one more. I had purchased pelican nibs. And Specialty they were nibs. hovering around in the U.S. And you know what? He was coming up and I was like, oh, you can bring these for me. And he was like, oh, I didn't really want to. But he did anyway. <laughs> so... He was forced into it. <laughs> so what we have here is um, an M1000 Oblique Triple Broad, an M800 Oblique Triple Broad, and an M600 or M400 Double Oblique Broad. And many Sorry, of these... Sorry, Double Broad Oblique. Many oblique. of these are the two chick nibs. Yes, so I'm pretty excited. I couldn't tell if I was more excited to see him or see the nibs. I know. Maybe a bit of both. And uh, I'm very, very grateful for his mewling because it's lovely and it's like a double... Had I known what I was mewling on, I'd just stayed there and kept them. In you bugger. I didn't know what these were. Now I know. This is the first time I've seen them. Now I know the truth. We haven't even had time to ink them up and play with them, have we? No. So this is what has happened. We have to come back then. All right. We just have to come back. I could just stay. It makes it um, so much easier. A final thing that, that should probably be pointed out is that Eric's visits are rather hazardous. I have fallen because I slipped on ice and I've burned myself on an oven on the span of about, <laughs> I think, three days. So, yeah, that's great. Blame me. I do blame you. Seems like you're beautiful. <laughs> right. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, beyond that, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I mean, I'm not worse than usual, for sure. And that's it. Are you sure? Well, who knows? That's, you probably aren't the judge of that. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> but that wraps up our excitement. It I was a so. very exciting seven days. Very exciting. Very exciting. And it's always fun. But also relaxing. I don't think we, and we, peaceful. we ever have as much fun as we have when you're here. I no, think I, I don't think it's say. not possible. It's not possible. Yeah. It's it's we are such a Impossible. great trinity yeah. of, of wonderful Indeed. persons that um, you know one the more trinity more of wonderful, wonderful persons. Well, one more wonderful than the next. That's so a club, the trinity yes. of wonderful personhood. Yes, something like that. Anyway, great fun. So thank you very much for sitting through this video. Uh, we definitely had fun uh, sharing our enthusiasm with you. Yes. Please let us know if these are videos that you like, um, and uh, that's it. And uh, that's it for me. Famous, I mean, until famous, next time. Famous last words. I have none. Okay. Famous last words. Mm. Famous don't, don't last go words. There. Don't go there. This should work. <laughs> don't go there. I'll turn it off and uh, we'll gladly see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, my legs are asleep. <laughs> oh.